since we were getting strong airflow, or to show you an alternative way to close this thing up. We put a plastic lid in there and taped, duct tape it like that. And that's still, again, a temporary fix. Because that duct tape, you know, can work itself loose. Before we put that tape on there, we carefully cleaned that surface with alcohol and uh, dried it so that that duct tape will hold until we can actually go purchase a five inch cap and, and put it in there with uh, sheet metal screws and close that off. As I did with the Conrad unit in uh, Daniel in the Lion Stand US. It's linked from this website. Anyway, that's an alternative way. You can take a lid, duct tape it in there so that no air comes through that and gets blended in with the air that's coming from the house. Now we just wanted to show you This, the furnace panel has the uh, filters in it. Of course, these filters, the, the more dirty or more plugged they become, the more air comes down that pipe and from the roof. So that means you can get a greater concentration of contamination. I'm going to turn this off so you can hear. But like you say, we've cleaned up that surface there and then duct taped a lid into that space to keep the air from coming in for tonight until we can come back with a, a metal cap which is another way to close that off but like I say this is a quick way to do it if you have duct tape and an old cottage cheese or lid or plastic lid that's big enough to stuff in there you can do just as we did there and you can see this is a mighty fine place. Anyway, that's the alternative way of capping that off. If you can't get up on the roof, you can at least duct tape that, cap it for the moment when your weather is seriously cold. Not even seriously cold. If the furnace is running at all, it's going to be potentially drafting in fumes from the exhaust up on the roof.